Hey guys, alright, David here. I'm here with the iPad keyboard dock for my iPad, obviously, which is right back here. You may notice it's already docked. That's because I bought the regular dock for my desk. So this keyboard dock will be for when I'm downstairs at the kitchen table or coffee table, wherever, to type emails or to type in pages, which is an amazing app, by the way. I'll do a video on that later. And uh, basically, different purposes. But I'm really excited about this keyboard because I just now found out this keyboard actually has specific keys for the iPad. For instance, it has a Photos key um, to launch iPod, uh, to even lock it, which I think is pretty cool. So let's unbox this. And I'll have a review of this hopefully up sometime in the near future. This plastic off. back here. Alright, as you can see, uh, very simple packaging. That's Apple for you, very nice packaging. Uh, Apple logo, iPad keyboard on the, I mean the keyboard dock on the front, keyboard dock on the back, um, and yeah, that's basically it. I don't even know if this comes with a USB cable, because um, I thought it was kind of cheap on Apple's part to only include this dock, and uh, not a cable with the dock, so I thought that was a little weird, but not a big deal since the iPad came with a cable. Anyway, here is the keyboard dock. As soon as you open it, it's right there. And yep, surprise, surprise, it does not come with a cable. No big deal since I already have one. I just think that's kind of weird that I don't include one, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, here it is. As you can see, it's a regular, well, almost regular sized keyboard without the number pad on the right. Um, and here's the actual dock connector where the iPad sits. Back here we have a support dock connector and line out, I guess, for audio, which is good. And let's take the plastic off, give you guys a quick tour of this thing. Oh, also included is like a quick start guide, but nothing too exciting right here. Actually, let me see if, I don't think they'll include Apple stickers with, nah, no stickers this time, it's just with the actual iPad. Anyway, let's get this plastic off. very excited to use this. Since day one, uh, when Apple announced this, I was like, I gotta have that. Alright, let's take the iPad off of the dock. Here we go. It sits comfortably in the dock. Now, if I press the lock key, it should lock. Very nice. And yes, as you can see, fingerprint crazy. Well, that's interesting. Hold on. If you lock it, and turn it on here, it's already on the lock screen. But if you lock it with a keyboard, but then you press any key, it comes back to uh, wake without having to unlock it. That's pretty interesting. I don't know, I just think that's pretty cool. Anyway, we have a spotlight button right here, or key rather. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's our home button. So if I went to Safari, press home, and yeah, it goes back. Let's see, we have brightness. So this is kind of like having a little Mac with you, which is pretty sweet. Uh, photos, that should launch photos, yep. Huh. If you press space, it goes out. Keyboard brings up the keyboard, so let's go into a um, page where you would have keyboard. Maybe not right there, hold on. Where would I go? Uh, actually, let's compose a new email. Actually, let's just press keyboard right now. There we go. And look at that. Typing much, much faster than the keyboard on screen. Which is already nice, but it's also nice to have a physical keyboard. Um, so, press home screen. And it's interesting. Home screen is in the top left, so it's like the escape key. So it makes sense. We have play button, so that should play my music. Yep. Legend of Zelda, in case you're wondering. Volume. I mean, that's if you had some kind of volume feedback, like on the Mac, but not a big deal. And finally, your lock key, which I talked about before. And that is my iPhone ding dinging in the background. And yes, I said ding ding ding. Ding dinging. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's an unboxing of the keyboard. Look for a review of this in the near future. And my next unboxing will be this iPad case, which actually isn't mine. I'm not a big fan of Apple's case. Um, well, I like the overall design. 
but I've heard it's not that great in the hand, so we'll see. This is actually my dad's. This is not mine, but he said I'm going to unbox it for my video. Alright guys, that's it. As usual, check out my social links under this video, and I will see you guys pretty soon.